and now we come across something but pish and tish. April 22nd. I can hardly believe that I'm still alive. Everything I saw was shrouded in mist and bathed in faintly purple moonlight. It was dreamlike, but yet I could move as I wished, and the grooves on the walls felt as real as anything. But those whom I found were vicious unlike anything I had ever seen. The man drew his sword the moment I stepped into his chamber, and I could do nothing else than to leap out of the window and scramble for cover. By God, am I fortunate that no one followed in pursuit. Perhaps this viciousness is a manifestation of death's innate drive to claim the living. It was much later that I became aware of a man digging frantically outside the house, yet without making a sound. He unearthed something and then went down the path into the night. When he was gone, I looked to see what was there, and, to my surprise, found a file exactly like my own, with which I returned to my study. It was only then that I realized that the man had drawn my blood, and my wound is still here. How could such harm be done to me in but a dream, or however else it may be described? What am I to do, Katharina, if my wound should open once more and you should find that I have bled into a bed? It doesn't bear thinking. April 25th. I haven't made any attempts to distill more of the body's fluid. The thought of rummaging in a corpse and its mind is extremely uncomfortable after what I have had to endure. April 28th. The next flask is filled and rests there where I'm looking at it. Too great is my curiosity. What will I find within that flask and the next and the next? It has been proven to work. Now it is upon me and me alone to complete the process, or else my discovery will be lost to the world. And if I really should find the treasure hoard, we would live like the Duke. All the newspapers would read, Immeasurable treasure discovered by Sir Eustace of Rothershire by virtue of extracorporeal divination. Well then, let's just stampede directly into the place. I realize that in books, and ages, and life, the ending can never truly be written. Okay! We're at the, we're at the church, and there's some clippity-clop wagon going by, with the horses in perfect unison, that's why it's creepy, also they're going kinda slow, that's why it's creepy. Also, you got death himself or something. Or just a guy. I don't know why I would say it's death himself, but hey, you know. Being rich is like being dead. It uh, causes you to go to heaven all the time, every day. That's your punishment. I mean, you think that it's good, but you'll get tired of all the sex and violence in heaven, I'm sure. Uh, Here lieth the body body of Richard Knowles, who departed this life in November C at the age of 23. A good ripe old age in this time, undoubtedly. But, but, okay. This is, this is a really interesting level, because it's got this path that kind of looks like a stream. I don't know. I thought it was interesting. Perhaps we'll have to dig again, but then again, maybe not. Because something terrible has happened this day. You can tell because that horse carriage is Speeding at the speed of light just as fast as its little hooves can carry it over there. <laughs> and uh, away from this evil place, okay? That's how you know a thing. So if you want to know how to know, just you listen to your old Grandpa Finn. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm saying Grandpa because I'm practicing for when I'm old. One does not want to be caught old unawares. Also, that's not quite touching the ground. No, no indeed. So, think maybe I could climb, but I guess I'm mistaken. Pfft. Disappointing, really. Do I have no ropes or nothing? Water? I guess not. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, there's a window. But, but still, wait. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Not even going to bother with the ground floor, dear sirs. Too good for it. Looks like I can't get around. Awful. Now, some of you may have been at one point wondering... Wow, what? This mic is bothersome. This Joe is bothersome. This Churchif is bothersome. Who names their son Churchif? Nobody. They name their daughter that. It's a feminine name. Shut up. 
<laughs> Never mind. Uh, you may have been wondering at some point, like a thing that I'm not going to tell you, but Who I'm just going to. Hmm? Who makes the children's? Hmm? I don't know. It's a question for the ages, lady. Certainly. Hmm? Certainly. You need some more vitamin D. Have you obeyed me yet? Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. I don't know. I think last time I laid the Christmassy stuff on a little thick. I don't know. I figured, you know, there's this guy what going like, Ah, oh, you better be beaten in the name of God. And and so I I, I I said God a lot. I don't know. But hey, you know, this game is not allowed to have any religion in it. It would be inappropriate. Lady, where are your manners? Harmon Smith has become Duke Nukem. What was that? Oh, no. Jesus. Anyway... You you may be wondering what's the deal with these flibbly flobbles. Okay, well I'll tell you what the deal is. You gotta You gotta go like this or something? No, you don't. Wow, this is an exciting episode. Where's that thing that I'm thinking of? And the builder said Go forth now, and speak in a clear, unambiguous, easily understandable manner. And the prophet Jeremiah said... What? Anyway... Uh, that happened, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, so, so, in case you're interested in what happened, that's what happened. What? 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 What, multiple dudes walking around on the floor to only one woman walking around by the candles? Despicable? I think not. So, I think so. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, you can put out the candles. derp a derp a derp a derp a derp And, presumably, you know... Presumably... Presumably one of these... Um... Was that a noise? Okay, it was changed. That's in interesting. That a noise? <laughs> Wasn't a noise, it was a silverfish. Totally different thing, okay? A noise is a thing that you hear, whereas a silverfish is a beasty little animal that squirms about. That's... That's funny. That must have been changed in the update. I guess I understand why you so might wish to do that. Yeah. You know, when I was off camera going over here to do that silly joke I just did, and the sun was going down, my grandmummer told me, buy a coat rack and the trees need never laugh at you again. Also, I didn't have to talk so the stealth was fun and, and challenging, by which I mean like it was hard but it, I could pay attention and do it, but that's why I look so like I don't care. Because I'm talking. If only people would shut their faces, Care Bears would rule the world. And isn't that what we all want? I don't pay you to think. Oh, oh well. Might as well leave that guy. And drive. See something. Drive. Huh, oh my you. god, yeah, now you come up, don't you? I wait all day here and you don't do shit. As soon as I go down, you're like, herp a derp a derp a derp. Don't worry, I can teleport. I can't believe I referenced that. That should be my new catchphrase. Pretty much is in a de facto manner. Or de facto, if you want to use bad French, because I think de facto is definitely French. But it doesn't matter what I think. I don't get paid to think. In fact, I get paid to kind of not think. What? Why, did you hear those coins tinkling in the wave? No, seriously, what the shit did I do to make... <laughs> What the shit did I do to make him pull out his sword and go full running around style? Did I see something? Oh well, I do like this mission, you know. I, Was that a noise? <laughs> I do. It's just, uh, you know, it, I'm playing on Trickficult. And boy, that's going to be quite the interesting thing <coughs> in a later, in a later style place. Also, by this mission, I mean this area, but you know what I'm saying. Yes, in a later style place. Go where you're... 
Do I hear somebody screaming? Da -da! Da -da! That's a screaming. Oh, there's a window. Hey, great. Uh, wear those clothes because you don't bathe, so you have to wear many layers, but unfortunately your face and hands are exposed. But I see something. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that'll teach you to look away from me. You see, the problem with having the eyes who look around is that they tend to sometimes look around during times when it's not realistic. That's the problem with randomness, but hey, whatever. So, for, for some reason, I'm remembering all these notes. Like, where are the notes? <laughs> okay, there's one. Let's see what we got here. Wanted letter. Wanted on charges of burgling a house of God. A man who goes by the name of Nathan. Dark hair and eyes. Youthful, rugged hands of average stature. Worn brown clothing. Thirty gold pieces. Not even as much as an inheritance. Report all relevant observations to the Right Honorable Reverend Runsley. Right Honorable Barrister. Well, having a name like Barrister does rather tend to force you into a career that you don't want to do, such as prostitution or computer technicianhood. And let me tell you, being a computer technician is a wonderful job until you actually have to do tech support. Ho ho ho, the devil farts in one's face again. Hey, actually a thing in here. But that wasn't the note I was thinking of, sadly and tragically enough. Must wait. Either something was changed or I'm just forgetful again. Let's <laughs> which which might be considered more likely here, friends and brothers. Possibly sister r z It's funny because this place isn't that big, is it? I maybe it's over there? Don't even remember. I was so busy reading the gospel that the gospel read me. Dang it. See, see, I have to say dang it, because this is a church. I can't say, God damn it, you absolute Satan thing I don't believe in. I don't, be I don't believe in God, but I do believe in Satan. It's just, you know, because God is, is just a ridiculous thing that does not stand up to logical scrutiny. But Satan, Satan, on the other hand, I mean, metal songs talk about Satan all the time, so you know he's real and walking among us. But nobody ever talks about God. Blink. I think I, uh, I think my argument is not as good as I thought it was. I love this purpley ground. It's sort of got that evil purple color that in recent decade or so has come to mean evil or undead or weird spiritual shit. <laughs> I mean, you think that shitting isn't spiritual, but it's extremely spiritual. Almost as spiritual as purchasing some questionably tasted statue and sticking it right in your eyeball while drinking a smoothie. Should I or should I not count that? Probably not. It's a bit borderline. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a door over there. Her, her, her. Still, still, still. Let's read the gospel some more. By which, I mean, take the loot, I'm sure. You understand it's kind of similar enough for me not to have to bother with explaining to all people. See, I can't even thump that book. This is a progressive mission where you don't thump a book, I, I guess. Now, wait a minute, though. He said going up here and not in the door in order to irritate his viewers. Is there or is there not... <sighs> hmm. A thing up on those rafters? I think there isn't. I don't know. I mean, there was the note. Oh, wait, there is. Oh, yeah, that's. Oh, oh, right. That's right. There's a rat who choked on a coin or a ring, which I didn't get the joke the first time I played it until somebody pointed it out like it was obvious. And I was like, oh, 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 oh. I understood that, of course. <laughs> no sneezing in church. God hates when you do that, but, you know, I shouldn't have to tell you that, because God hates when you do anything. Anything. Anything except have no fun whatsoever. <laughs> Definitely the teachings of all churches, you know? I don't like to hate too much on religion. Oh. There's a lot of people who are just trying to be nice, and you get a bunch of snark in their face like, hey, you look at you, you're stupid because you have faith or don't have faith or have a different faith. I'm just describing the most obvious phenomena ever and getting paid for it. 
Not very much, but nevertheless, I'm sure it's some sort of sin. And once again, you pick a lock and there's nothing. <laughs> but, 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 but sure. Hey. I want to stuff that in my pocket. Come on, man, what's wrong with you? Letter to Reverend. Dear Reverend Brias of Ruther Abbey, I write to you asking for guidance and following God's path in the days to come. In the last year, I've begun to grow blackberry bushes in a ravine on the westmost border of my land, which would otherwise be fallow. Yet now Clark, who holds the land on the other side of the ravine, claims that I have no right to this land. He says I have shown this myself by hesitating so long, but this is because the ravine's soil is laden with rocks and difficult to reach. He now demands that I cut down my bushes because they hinder wild life and reaching his forestry estate. This land has been my family since the forebears settled the northwest coast. Reverend Brius, does this man speak the truth in the eyes of God when he says that I no longer hold this land? Yours in God, Alfred. Oh, this is the sort of petty day-to-day -day crap that bishop, priest, reverend, revered type people have to deal with, I'm sure. And wait, that was it? Why am I remembering something of vital importance? Oh, that's probably... That's probably the thing of vital importance. Oh, alrighty then. Reverend's Visitor. A young man came to me after I concluded yesterday's evening sermons. He was here to ask for my blessing for his journey to come, crossing the oceans to reach Newfoundland. He was... which is a real place, but also a fictional one, kind of awkward, but hey. He was awfully young to make such a journey on his own, and besides, I did not recognize his face at all, so I first inquired into his plans to see their soundness. His intention was to rid himself of the life he lived here and begin anew. This is indeed a wish that I hear commonly from those who emigrate. He would hire on board one of the ships in the harbor, then, upon his arrival, find an inn and look there for work, travel the land, and in due course open a trading outpost. Have you learned a trade? Do you know how to sail a ship? I've lived on the farm all my life, father. Do you have any savings to take with you? Yes, yes I do, father. My father left me some coin, father, 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 father. I inquired into his father, presumed dead for the longest time. How? He did not know. None of this was convincing. Yet still I gave him my blessing, for it was clear to me that this young man required peace of soul and the support of God. This I did in the knowledge that he will not travel, as it is a given that an unskilled farmhand won't find employment on an ocean voyage, nor could one such as him afford the comfort of traveling as a passenger. By the good Lord, where are my incense candlesticks and my chalice but gone to plunder a house of God? Could it be the young man of just the eve before, Nathan, as was his name? Undoubtedly, he was in hard need of gold. More importantly, how was my storage chamber breached? Nathan can't have seen me, extinguishing the candles, not when I'm on the first floor. He must have been watching from a tree. I shall have to report the theft to the... Gendarmerie, the gendarmerie, though I shudder at the thought of their punishments being wrought on such a youth. Perhaps I will give only a vague description and let God decide whether he be found. I think this writing may have been changed. Watching from a tree. I think it was a little more obtuse before or something. And something about like opening a window. Actually, that might have been clearer. I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so he mentions candles and. You know, that confused certain people, so like, maybe now it'll work? I don't know, but it was one of these candles originally. Where you... You touch it, and a thing would happen. Oh! I guess you have to read it first. <laughs> well, alrighty then, that's also kind of... reasoned. Fine, 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 fine. Wow, this is going a bit quicker, but but sure, I mean, I don't know, it's fun to go up on the roof and probably to smoke marijuana. I don't know. Disappointed, I don't know. I mean, it felt so lively and cruffish, by which I mean taking a long time. Stop making up terms, Finn. The first time I played when I was carousing around on the roof, galonting over the ocean, and it's not, it's not being insane, okay, it's called speaking in tongues, it's extremely spiritual, you might even call it ultra-spiritual. I always thought speaking in tongues meant speaking in another tongue, as in, like, another language, like French. 
but apparently not. I don't know. I am not the guy who will be able to make Life of Brian 2 the lifer of Brian because I don't know about my history. Also, this room. Oh, yeah, that's right, this room. <laughs> he put in these glows. Uh, appreciated. <laughs> it, it's kind of hard to find things sometimes. Hang on. Oh. 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 Hey. Catherine, it's one of our sons. I suspect I cannot, but uh, I shouldn't leap to conclusions. Well, that's that. See you guys next time when I undoubtedly will walk the realm of the dead. <laughs> Bye. And the builder spake. Go forth. <laughs>